Hey folks, welcome to Life on Beagle Road. I think it's spring. <laughs> in Pennsylvania, we have that weird spring where spring could come in March or spring could come in May, but I think this year it's coming in March, which is great. So I would like to get my seeds started and also not have to carry them in and out of the indoor grow area while we have a newborn. Some years we've started seeds so much earlier than this, but this year, you know, it's been a little, little busy. Off to a slow start here, but this still gives us time to get tomatoes started. I think we're gonna buy pepper starts because until I get the seeds to germinate and plant and they're so slow to start and they're hard to start. I think we'll just, we'll just buy starts of those. But tomatoes, we can definitely get started. I'm gonna start a reasonable number of tomatoes here, not 144 like I've done sometimes. That was excessive. I think Kenny said I should start like six tomato plants. I mean, I don't think that's enough either, but definitely not 144. All right, what have we got here? Ooh, pink brandy wine. Definitely gotta start those. Mortgage lifter, probably my favorite tomato of all time. And this is a Jolene tomato. Haven't done that one yet, but you know. Sounds cool. It does sound cool. As long as Jolene doesn't take my man. I think if I start four of each of these, that's only 12 tomato plants. That's reasonable, right? What's the planting depth? Quarter inch, one. Two, three, four. Two in each of these. Let's cover these up ever so gently. There we go. All right, I gotta mark these before I forget what's in here. If you've watched our channel for a while, you would know that frequently I plant things and don't know what they are. Ta-da! I'm gonna know what those are. I'm gonna keep this tag when I transplant them. I'm gonna be good about it this year, I swear. I'm actually not using a seed starting mix for this. I'm just using a high quality potting mix and I picked out the sticks and bark that were in it. That way, I don't have to worry about having separate seed starting mix. Well, these are fun. They're little pelleted seeds so that they're easier to pick up. Oops. In the hole. There we go. My mouth is watering thinking about these tomatoes. Oh my gosh. I love a fresh tomato. Since this is the first year we're growing the Jolene, I'm gonna label them Jolene tomato so that I know what the heck a Jolene is. All right, and then last row here is gonna be mortgage lifter. Santa brought us some of these Haas seeds because that's my, that's my favorite brand of seeds these days. Trying to keep the number of starts under control goes along with my general sense of like trying to keep things more under control around here like I don't need all the tomato starts and all the goats although it really feels like it wait did I label this first one mortgage lifter yep I did that wasn't the mortgage lifter this is unless I planted two rows of mortgage lifters did I do that I did I planted two rows of mortgage lifters and none of the pink brandy wine. <sighs> okay, so we'll just have to do two rows of mortgage lifter. Like I was saying, trying to keep things under control. Or not. 
this this is my video evidence that it was not my fault I did not mean to start 16 tomato plants I can share some I can share some for sure mom I hope you want tomato plants whoops now there's three in there shoot but this really is the story of how we end up out of control with all of our hobbies it's like I mean for it to start small and then accidentally boom extra baby goats extra tomato plants Kenny this doesn't mean that you can have extra tools or extra sewing machines they don't happen by accident oh gosh I had to get off sitting on the ground there things are my back's getting a little sore it's a little hard to get off the off the floor now we've got about six more weeks to go until this baby so soon pretty darn soon i'm gonna use these last two rows to start beans because kenny loves peppers and green beans so if i start all these tomatoes and then not some sort of beans or peppers and i'm not starting peppers then we're all gonna have to hear about it so we got a bush bean and a pole bean here Bush, beans. I'm gonna make sure to plant them in the right place too. <laughs> these are an inch deep, so make these holes a little deeper. I'm gonna start some basil and sunflowers. Um, soon I'll be able to start greens outside and probably just use like a, a plastic cover or a row cover for them overnight okay look at this bush bean paying attention there we go um start some herbs but i think you know everything else i'm going to try to start outside when it's time we keep our plants indoors in the basement we have a growing area down there with lights and heat mats and all that kind of good stuff but it is a ton of work to carry a lot of plants in and out all the time and I am just probably not that up to it over the next few weeks I mean don't get me wrong I feel good but I still feel really pregnant and almost 40 so cut myself some slack here All right, I'm gonna top these off. They didn't have quite as much soil in them. Make sure everything's covered. Can stay nice and moist. It's the only appropriate time to use the word moist, or if you're talking about cake. These trays are set up so that you can water your plants from the bottom and the soil also drains well. You're not smushing your little seedlings with high flow of water. So I'm gonna take this over here to the spigot, fill it up, and go water those plants. I'm gonna let that sit for a few minutes and then I will take the tray back off, dump out the extra water. Um, you don't want the soil to get too wet, your seeds will rot, you want it to be able to drain, but I'll give the opportunity for the soil to soak up some water and let's take a look at what else is going on gardening wise. That's some green in there. That's a strawberry plant. There's another strawberry plant. The strawberry plants wintered over in the green stalk and trying to come back I just trimmed off a lot of the dead leaves and stuff today so we'll have more strawberries this year let's go take a look at the garlic if you remember we were super late planting garlic we did it in December maybe it was maybe it was still November but it was definitely almost December if it wasn't actually December So got this high class gate here. Look at all this. Holy cow, that's a lot of garlic coming up already. So this is the bed where we're doing garlic with tomatoes in between. 
so at least some of those 16 tomato plants will go in here. And then over here, we've got another bed of garlic. These aren't coming up quite as high yet, but I also think we mulched this bed much heavier. Yeah, see here's some more just starting to come up. I think we're doing good here. Ah, of course I use tags that don't fit. Of course. So today I can just leave those out here on the sun. It's warm enough, this table's black. It's gonna get some nice radiant heat from that to help these seeds germinate. Uh, but this afternoon I'll take them down into the basement, put them on a heat mat and um, yeah, let them do their thing there. But I gotta clean up the mess I made. So again, there's video evidence that I do clean up the messes that I make. I swear.